Hello, welcome to my Facebook Live. My name is Akemi Gary. I am independent stamping up demonstrator in Charles Ford, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today, I would like to share um, celebration promotions going on right now. And uh, every fifty dollars you spend, you get the free items. One of these is this, like this. Thanks a bunch stamp set. It's really cute card you can make. It's right here. Celebration catalog page five. Um, I'd like to show you a couple cards I made today. Like that. And one more here, and one more here. So i like to show you today how to make this one. Very easy and quick. Stay with me for about 30 minutes. All right, let me switch the camera. Okay, might need to put it up a little higher. Hmm. Let me try this. Okay, there you go. It's a better view. Okay. Yeah, putting up this a little higher then. Okay. All right, I think we are good. Here. It's a curd. Okay, well, let me double check my monitor. If you can hear me well, let me know. Okay. Give me a thumbs up and all right okay looks good thank you so much for joining me today or if you are watching a replay on facebook page or uh, instagram or youtube uh, make sure you leave a comment and let me know where you're watching from and uh, if you like this video make sure you put the thumbs up i really appreciate Okay, today is, today's card is, again, I'm going to show you this, thanks a bunch. This is a free stamp set. Um, it's so cute. I love the, all those messages. And uh, also, I need a lot of thank you notes because the kids are making, uh, uh, kids are writing a thank you note for the uh, Christmas present, also birthday present. Um, I use the um, those uh, designer series paper as a background. That's also free product, which is page eight, day at farm, and this is really cute designer series paper. As you said, the day at farm is here as a cow and. Then cute like m hills farmland i should say yes yeah, the farm animals here and here's a duck and a chick and like this and then this one so i today i use uh, this back side of the um this designer series paper night uh, uh, daffodils yellow stripes and also, I use um, I use these um, designer sheets paper and create a oh what's it called pinwheel tower card. I shared this uh, Instagram live this Tuesday. It looks like a picture album. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, picture book. And I use um, those uh, sentiments from the uh, stamp set I'm using today. This one. It's a cute little piggy and a mommy pig. 
Thank you. I miss you. I was thinking uh, my daughter who just went back in the college today, um, maybe I will send this card um, next week or so. So, if you like this, you know, I will post it on uh, YouTube or you can watch in, uh, um, how to video on my Instagram account or YouTube account, YouTube channel. So please check. Also, I made the, um, my quick six cards using that uh, day at farm designer series paper. I always make those um, quick easy six cards with the designer series paper because I think I love paper. I love designer series paper. They are so pretty. And uh, I just add a simple layout and um, sentiment and the, uh, here's the ribbons and the linen thread and a little embellishment like this. So all my customers who spend $35 will get the um, card stocks and uh, cut up the uh, the small piece of the designer series paper so you can make a six cards quickly. Um, ribbons and embellishments are not included. But that's my thank you gift from me to whoever uh, shop at my online store using the um, host code, which is January host code is here. And then my uh, address, shopping address, um, sh online store's address is here. If you type in, you can find it. So, and they cute. It's like, here you go. And very simple, but it's pretty. All right. Okay. That's all my information for today. And uh, again, celebrations going on. Uh, it's great to shop and host party. Also join a team. Join a team promotion is great during uh, this month and, and also in February. You then, uh, I'm sorry, you get option one. You get exclusive Boho Blue Mini Machine, and that's a $63 value, and your choice of $175 of stamping a product for just only $129. It's like almost like a half price. You get the value $175. So 238 values product, you can get 129. That's is a half price, almost a half price, right? And then if you don't like, or if you like just white uh, um, embossing machine, like a regular one, one I have here, this one, this is white embossing machine, mini. And then it's again, same. You get that, that mini machine and then your choice of $175 of a product for only $129. And if you have a mini machine already and your choice of $175 a product for only $99. And then always start the kit is um, shipping free. So you just pay $99 plus uh, sales tax depends on where you live and you get $175 worth of the product so that is a great deal all right so that's only my announcement for today and then let's do something so I will show you how to make this one it's quick and easy so I put in it here So first you need I need a PRS mark so that and okay here's a basic basic white cardstock three inches by five inches and I am going to start pumpkin pie. I get the scrap paper. 
too, so I do the stamp off technique. Okay. So I stamp here, ink off here, and I just want to stamp a little over here. One, and second one. I'm going to get uh, these lines give looks like a give her uh, the shade so this is I use the uh, um, first generation so it's that same in color but you get the two tones like that. that's cute looks like a carrot <laughs> And then I am going to use pear pizzas. And I'm gonna put that those leaves. Okay. So this one I am going to uh, first generation here, and I keep stamping to get the second generation like that color. And. So even you have a one in color, you get the two different tones. Or if you get the third generation, you get the even lighter. So you can maximize what you have. This is a um, old olive. And I'm gonna stamp a couple leaves in here. It's a little darker than pear pizzas. Okay. All right, that's cute. That. All right, so that's the focal point, and I'm gonna use stamp the um, sentiment on the uh, craft crumb cake. I'm sorry, crumb cake. Um, I'm using Sosway. The thanks a bunch. Um, Stamp things first. Hopefully, I don't get my head in the camera. Okay, it's a little bit higher, but I can trim a little bit here after I stamp. Okay. All right, is that good enough? Hmm, maybe I'll stamp one more time on the back side. I'm putting it back a little lower so it's okay. Okay. Uh, let me try this things. Okay. All right, that's much better. Okay, now let's trim a little bit in the top here so it makes, makes looks even. Okay, let me put on my paper trimmer here. Tiny bit. So that brings to the uh, half inch. Then I am going to cut the little angle here. Yeah. Okay, like this. And I'm going to use this um, real red and oh gosh, I forgot that this name. It's a crumb cake. No, no. That's the combo. 
oh gosh i use this for the demonstration <laughs> and i can't think about name okay right here okay number two we have a red bar wrap ribbon combo pack yes do you love this country floral land oh this is my favorite one as you know okay so i'm gonna trim this one just a little angle too that's good all right so now i am going to assemble before i assemble okay here's a linen thread when you pull the linen linen thread from the spool it's rolled up like this uh here's a little trick um i have a spitzer in here and the uh, water in it tiny bit of water in my my palm here and then i just hold it it just give a little bit water on a linen thread and then you pull and it makes a little um takes off the little uh this powered up so i don't want to put the, too much water be, though because it takes the time to dry i don't want to smell the uh ink from the stamp image all right but see now it's pretty much straight right it's good See, compared to here, if you pull from the uh, spool, it's really rolled up. It's curly, but if you wet the little, damp the little bit and the linen thread, it's more like have a nice straight here. Okay, so now I'm going to assemble. Let me cut this one. It's easier. Here you go. Okay, I have everything here. Okay, car base is um, basic white. I just cut in a half and a fold in a half here. And I give it a little bit wicked glue here. Okay, here is the uh, look. At this side, it's a cute, a lot of uh, vegetable on here. That's really cute. But I'm going to use this uh, yellow stripe side. I cut this um, four and a quarter and five and a half. So it will cover entire car front. And I have this one already cut. I use the... Um, Pen flowers die. That's and then this one right here. And this is um pear pizzas. The color is a pear pizzas. So I just give a little glue here. Oh no, this one. I just attach. I like to show on a little stitch because it's so cute here. So you just need to trim this excess here. All right. And then it goes here. All right. All right, that's good. Then I am going to give, this is a stamping, sta uh, stamping seal. So I'm going to put right here to give a little tape here. And here's a linen thread. I don't need to tie, I just just glue in here it has a tape so just attach so let me cut 
color to that excess. And then I am going to add Barrap ribbon here. Looks maybe a little longer. Maybe I trim a little later. Okay, and then this one I am put stamping dimensional. here a little bit maybe a little bit higher here so it will show in a bar up ribbon I am going to trim a little bit okay all right that's a cute and I'm gonna stamp the inside too we have a little carrot stamp I think I did the stamp here yeah look all right let's put in back PS mat here and then there is tiny carrots okay this is a full strength first generation like that and then Bring back a pair of pizzas and put a little leaf here. Okay. It's a cute thank you card and let me show you other card that I made these design are from um, I cased from the uh, mini cut uh, the celebration catalog it's right here one's this one and then the one I'm gonna show uh, I cased this one so it's a little bit different I put like a <laughs> things a bunch so I just put the like a five carrots and they are just fashy cut after I stamp I did a fashy cut and uh, let me pull up this one looks like okay that's better that and then one more card I, I thought that this little uh, carrots in the background is so cute and even these dots and in, in, in the uh, stamp set this one so this one has a lot of saying and then a lot of uh, image of this um, carrot. So you can create uh, really good cards. So this is uh, today's project. I hope you like it. And if you like, please give it a thumbs up. And again, thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching on YouTube and the replay, and please, um, Please leave a comment and and make sure you subscribe my video so you won't miss that uh, new post. Thank you so much again. Have a good weekend. See you next week. Bye now.